Is it recording? Good morning. So I put on my Instagram, what video did you guys want to see from me this week? And you guys said you want a vlog. Um, and we've got quite a busy day today because I'm going to a premiere tomorrow. What? I'm going to the premiere for ba Babylon, right? And on the description it says it's a red carpet, which I'm a bit anxious about because does that mean I walk along the red carpet? Probably not. Like, surely not. The dress code is decadent. So I've been kind of stressing about what I'm going to wear because, like always, I leave everything last minute. Um, and I bought a dress yesterday that was too big. So I went on Selfridges and I re-bought the dress in a smaller size. And apparently it's going to be arriving in half an hour. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and then try on the dress with you guys and pray it fits. And then later on today, we're going to go into town. We're going to do some last minute shopping, get some earrings. Because I don't have any earrings to go with the dress. I did treat myself, though, in this Selfridges order. I did buy a Vivian Westwood necklace because obviously the film is based in 1920s and I feel like a pearl necklace just perfect because my Vivian Westwood necklace has gone to shit it's literally green like Vivian Westwood necklaces really do not last but all I know is I need to practice my makeup today because I do not want to do my makeup tomorrow and it looks shit like I want to practice it so I don't have to stress so yeah this is like a day in the life slash two days in the life <laughs> it arrived I've never ordered from Selfridges. Bougie! Well, this here she is. Okay. So this is the dress. So that's what it looks like at the front. And then this is what it looks like at the back. Um, I just really liked the diamonds. Oh my God, I need to see the necklace. Oh my god! Wait, this looks. This isn't gonna fit me. Wait, why is this so small? Oh no. This isn't gonna fit. I've just got so. <gasps> no, it does! It does fit! Thank the heavens! Oh my god, for a second I thought it was way too small. Does that look good? It's like more of a checker than my other one, but I like it. My neck can't get any bigger though. So this is the dress and this is with everything together. So this is the bag and the glittery shoes that match the Vivian, which is so cute. Um, and Je basically James has been trying to teach me how to walk in heels because I cannot walk in heels, right? But he has just taught me and I, I think I actually know what I'm doing now, right? Yeah, I'm more faster than Like it's looking, so it started off with me like this, didn't it? Right? Yeah. Right, so that looks shit, yeah? Because I'm, I'm spreading my legs too much. Yeah. But now, watch this, ready? Hold on, it fell off. What fell off? My heel. <laughs> that looked better anyway. <laughs> yeah, but, right. Excuse the recycling. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, just me and my heels. Is that good? Yeah, but you've got stuff on my toes, so be careful. <laughs> you got fucking dirt. Hello, everybody. So, my room is a complete tip, as you can see. I've gotten ready for the day, though. I am giving you mum core. I am giving you... Just about to go pick up the kids from school energy, but I don't care. This is my style at the moment, though. This is what I wear on a daily basis. A nice little fleece. A nice little knit jumper, something underneath to keep me warm, and some everyday denim jeans, and I love it. I feel comfortable, and I'm ready to go into town. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I put a bit of makeup on, and I'm feeling like I look quite clean today because I did wash my hair today. It's been so greasy. I haven't washed it in like three days, which is good for me because normally I have to wash it every single uh, every single day or every other day. Um, oh my god, the sun is out. Yes! Oh my god, it's literally been so depressing. I swear January is the worst month for weather. Like, I had a spray tan yesterday, and that was really fun, but you have to get naked, and I didn't really realise that. Um, well, you don't have to get naked, you can wear bra and pants, but I don't know. It was just like, it was fine. It literally took like two minutes. Spray tans take two minutes. I thought it was going to be longer, but that was an experience. I felt uncomfortable, but not at the same time. The woman, the woman was really professional. It was just like me. I was like, oh my god, you're seeing my naked body. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah. What was I saying? Yes, we are going into town now. I just filmed a lounge ad um, where I was showing 
the best bras in the world. Like this bra, for example, this is not an ad, I'm just showing you the bras. Front fastening, are you kidding me? Just heard a sound, but we're gonna ignore that. James also went through his wardrobe yesterday and put loads of clothes on the floor and said, I'm getting rid of them, but he hasn't actually got rid of them yet. Um, so I've put them into bags and I'm gonna go to the charity shop today as well while I'm in town. I'm gonna go in and be like, hey, I've got some dono donations because I've never actually done that before. I normally just put it in the bins, you know, like those clothing bins that you see on the street. I normally do that. But then I saw a TikTok saying that they don't actually go to the children in need. Um, they go like just in a dump and I was like, oh shit. And then I've also got to take back my house of CB dress, so it's all go. And then I've also got to go to therapy in two hours, and I'm also starving. I'm going to get Itsu. I said to James, because he's in town right now, I said, if you want to meet me for an Itsu date, we can do that. If not, I'm still going to go there by myself. And I just eat. Itsu is the one place where I go in and eat alone. Like, I don't really, like, sit and eat alone anywhere else, apart from Starbucks and Costa. Itsu is a place where you can do that and not feel, like, judged, because I feel like everyone does that in Itsu. But I feel like... Sushi day. Sushi mukbang. What did you get, James? I'm not talking. <laughs> James gets embarrassed around people. Well, we got some chicken gozers to share, and then I got this, and James got basically the same. And then I got my favourite drink. This is literally my favourite thing ever. home now sorry i didn't film that much in town i got a bit camera shy um but i'm currently just eating my favorite snack at the moment which is co-op pickled baby gherkins they are bussin first things that i can't even speak i'm so blocked like i'm so sorry that you have to hear my voice if you're watching this right now, I'm so sorry. Please excuse my voice. Like, I can't even talk. I am so mucusy. I've just bloody come out with a podcast. No one's going to want to listen to this podcast because it's just going to be my nasally voice. And I get comments on TikTok as well like, why, why are you so nasally? Do you not breathe out of your nose? No, I don't. Um, so I'm gonna practice the makeup because I am so excited to try this product. I got this because um, apparently it's been trending on TikTok for so long, but I've only just realized it now. It's the Moon Dust from Urban Decay. I don't know if you can see that. It is sensational. If you like glitter, I bloody love glitter. This, you need to get this. I got this in the sale as well. Apparently it's always sold out. It's called Space Cowboy. Um, that's the shade. They have other shades too, but this is in shape. Sh but this is in Space Cowboy, and I got it for £14. It's normally £18, but on the Urban Decay website, they were having a sale, and it was in stock. I was so shocked. I really don't know if to do a black eyeliner or a brown eyeliner, because sometimes a black is quite intense, but then I've been looking at 1920s makeup, right, because the uh, movie is based in the 1920s, like the golden age in Hollywood at that time, and I looked on Pinterest, I was like, okay, 1920s, golden age, glamour and they all had really dark eyes actually i was quite shocked um that was one of the makeup looks they used to do all the time so i kind of want to do that but they also used to put um either white eyeliner here or black eyeliner and i feel like white suits me more because when i put black eyeliner under here i just feel like i look really ugly Hayley bieber and kendall jenner they put their contour and foundation on and then they put foundation on top with a brush like this and do this let's just fucking try it do you know what i mean let's just fucking try it James, you give me a heart attack! Yeah, well, I've been informed about the premiere. What's wrong with it? It's been cancelled. No, it hasn't. Generally, it's fucking been cancelled. No, it hasn't. At least she has. Margaret I saw here. the thing. Not doing what's supposed to be doing. I'm not liking this one bit. Why is it crusting up? Tell us your robbing story. Two young youths from Bally's came in. But they had Bally's on! Yeah, they look like Central, one of like Central Sea. Maybe it was Central Sea. I was like, yo. This guy's quite a good looking bloke. Uh huh. Anyway, I'm not gonna try and riz me over and steal from the shop. Right. He walks in and I was talking to the boss man. Yep. Oh, is this a good pasta sauce? He went, yeah. I went, brilliant. And then he goes, excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> and there you go. I turn around and he goes, you're right, lads. You're right. And, I, and then they walk out. And then I went out to the shop at the same time. They were drinking a bit of Fanta. They obviously stole. Naughty boys. Naughty boys. so kind as well. I want to do something like this. A Lily Rose Depp moment, yes please. Lucas, god damn it. I essentially want this, but with a bit of like smokiness to it. 
Right, so that eye went to absolute shite, and this is what we have on this eye. Really don't know how I feel, don't know if it looks good or not. We haven't given up yet because I still have this to put on. Let's see if it makes it any better. <gasps> so you can see what the eye looks like here. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, does it look good, does it not? I don't know, but we're adding the glitter right now. Look at that, it looks wet. Like, I just love the look it gives. It looks really shit. <laughs> Wait, we still have that mascara to put on. I feel like the mascara will make it come together. It's giving. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I've just put a lot of makeup on my face and hope for the best. Do you know what I mean? Like, why does this side of my face look so much better? I feel like I've just drooped my face without meaning to. Hi guys, so it's currently half 12. Long story short, I got frustrated with my makeup, made dinner, watched the Vikings, and now I'm here. I uh, packed my suitcase, ready to go, um, but I've just realized my face is actually really hairy, so I'm gonna uh, shave it. I get these like face razor things. Um, I normally get them off Amazon, but I found them in boots, so I got them in boots. And basically what I do is, I put some oil on my face, right? I don't have a really hairy face, but just peach fuzz. And apparently if you shave off your peach fuzz, um, makeup applies nicer and doesn't like go all like cakey and like separate, which is happening. That's why I was getting frustrated doing my makeup because it was separating. I was just like, Ugh. so I'm just gonna shave my face and pray, one, I don't break out and two, pray I don't like cut myself. Right, so here we go. Already, look at that hair. Eee! I have lots of hair here. I remember like years ago when I was in year 11, I saw this YouTuber and I cannot remember her name, but she did it and I was like, oh my God, what are you doing? Because my mum always said to me, Isabella, never shave your thighs, your arms or your face. And this girl was doing it, but everyone in the comments was like, yeah, it works. Like your makeup applies so much nicer. And since then, I've been doing it. Um, my mum does not know I do this. She would have a heart attack, but she doesn't need to know. Oh, it's like, oh, it feels so weird. Right, and then after you've done it, it's really important to moisturize. And maybe this is what I do, as you can see. I damp my skin with a cold towel as well to shut the pores, um, because you just don't want to like, damage your skin or whatever I don't really know what it does but apparently it closes your pores if you put cold water on after doing it and then moisturizer and if you're curious I'm using the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Omega Rich Cloud Cream this stuff is bougie as heck I think I got it sent to me um and I'm pretty sure it is quite expensive but let me tell you it's worth the money I will be buying a new one after this um after this runs out this is the most it feels so luxury it feels like I've gone to a spa. It also like blurs my skin as well. Like it literally makes it look like I've got filter on my face when I put this on. It's kind of, it literally looks like I've got primer on or something. It looks like the benefit professional. Right, so I am now, what is my eyebrow doing? So it is now like 12 o'clock, so I need to go to bed because we're waking up early tomorrow, but I will see you tomorrow. This is for one night, just one night. Hello guys, so we have made it to the hotel, which was very stressful because we got here too early and they were like, oh, it's not gonna be ready till 3 p.m. And then I was literally like on the verge of crying because I need to do my hair and I just wouldn't have enough time if it was at 3 p.m. Then I'd only have two hours to get ready and I, I need at least three. Um, but then long story short, James worked his magic and we got in the hotel room. However, it's a, um, what's it called? Uh, accessible room. Um, I believe it's for people with wheelchairs. So it's a lot bigger. Um, I don't know why they've put us in this room, but we've got a lot of space and it's also a Premier Plus room, which is really nice because I did not pay the price of a Premier Plus room. But what that means is you just get like more space, you get the nice like pink lights, you get a nice TV because normally you get like a little box TV. Um, and there's even space for James to work on the podcast. And the bathroom is huge. Like look at all this space. You don't get this normally in a Premier Inn nice bath look at this so when i put my dress on i can properly see what i look like which is really nice um however because it is an accessible room the hangers are really low so my dress is just kind of like hanging like that but that's fine it will do um so right now 
Right now, I haven't had lunch, so I need to eat lunch, but I'm going to start doing my hair right now. I just don't know if to clean it or not, because this is second day hair, and normally second day hair is really greasy, but it doesn't look too greasy. And I believe if I don't wash it, the curls will stay longer, so I feel like maybe I shouldn't, and then just rock it. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now, and no, then I'm going to shut... Huh? Shave your hair off. You, what? Shave all your hair off, so you don't have to worry about it. Funny, why don't you shave all your hair off? Okay. You're halfway there. Alright. So you really put out. <laughs> Do you think my hair looks greasy? Like, be for real? No. Okay, cool. I won't wash it then. Huh? It doesn't look that greasy. For real? For real, like soaking wet. I just don't really care to see that. <laughs> you know, I love to see that. Nah, I don't think it's that bad. It could be better though, but it's not too bad. It's it really could be good. better. You're mid. I'm mid, thank you very much. just done my hair and I'm so in a rush and I've just put on my fake nails got them from I think the brand Kiss from Boots they've done the job they just look like regular acrylics I'm just praying I've literally have been having nightmares about this that one of them is gonna fling off onto the red carpet and then people are gonna be like ooh whose nail was that like I'm actually really nervous so it's into brain. Eye. <laughs> what the fuck Hopefully that who is that this blind. is my noodle soup. Oh my god, look how big it is. That's what she said. I thought, <laughs> I thought I'd get a noodle soup so I wouldn't get bloated, but I don't know if it works like that. I also got a weenie bit of sushi. This is what I got James. It was called a firecracker chicken That looks thing. fucking good. And then I got some sushi for us to just nibble on to. Oh, James, can you open this for me? I don't want to ruin my nails. It's like me after a big night out. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that because I won't be able to eat it. That's like pure shit. Uh, no, like there's loads of nice veggies in it. That, was me that chicken spots. is brown. Yeah, it's fine. It's not meat. Are you sure? I'd rather be brown than pink. Okay. Let's try this. You're going to spill it all on the floor. No, I'm not. I know you so well. I'm not going to... Stop! James! Stop it! Any danger of just not getting it on my laptop? Jesus Christ. That's actually nice. No. Just fling in my eye. Can you uh, back the fuck up? Yes, master. <laughs> This would be the kind of movie that would be watched for the de like the decades to come. Margot Robbie! <laughs> Brad Pitt! Uh, Paramount. I just want to thank everyone involved in making this movie, everyone who brought us to this point, and I want to thank <laughs> The camera's so shaky because I'm so cold. <laughs> just get us home. <laughs> That is me eating with my mouth closed. <sighs> mouth closed. My mouth is closed, bitch. I literally go back on that recording. End it, end it, end it, and watch it back. End it, and watch it back. End it, and watch it back. End it, and watch it back, you dickhead. End it, and watch it back. No, I'm eating back. my nuggets. Let me eat my nuggets in peace. Well, I just don't peace of me. I'm not I'm normally a barbecue gal, but barbecue sauce is hitting. Why is taking your makeup off with cleansers being such a mess? Literally, the water has gone everywhere, like charcoal water everywhere. It's really good though. It's the, it's the Clinique Take the Day Off, but it's the charcoal version. So it's literally going everywhere. This room, the fact that I have to clean this up tomorrow morning, I don't want to think about it. But anyway, I should probably not do that. It's 1 a.m. I need to take all my makeup off and get ready for bed to go to sleep. We were sat behind Keith Lemon and I really wanted to take a selfie, but James was like, as well, we probably shouldn't do that because he seems like the guy that could possibly be seeing you next Tuesday and you don't want to piss him off by asking him for a photo, do you know what I mean? So I said no, but it would just have been really funny because in our first podcast episode we literally mentioned Keith Lemon because we asked you guys on Instagram who your childhood crushes were and one of you guys said Keith Lemon and we were like what the fuck and it was just 
I think we manifested seeing Keith Lemon. Now I'm going to use, I never use toner, but I brought it with me for some reason. I just kind of grab things and put it in my suitcase. I'm using the Origin, the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. I believe this is a toner. Um, and it feels really good. Apparently Origins is a really nice skincare brand. So, just plopping that on. Um, but like these products, honestly, I'm so grateful because most of these products I have got gifted. Like I got this gifted the other day and I'm not saying this to be like, oh, I get everything gifted. That's literally not the case. It's just, I just want you to guys, I want you guys to know that I don't just have all these expensive products because I buy them. I'm not really an expensive skincare gal. Like the stuff I buy, I always just go into Boots or Superdrug and I love Superdrug vitamin E stuff. Like that is such good products, especially for body lotion as well. Oh my God. Um, Super Joker do these lavender vitamin E body moisturizers and if you put that on before bed you will feel so relaxed it's like a placebo effect whenever I smell lavender I just instantly feel calm I know some people don't like the smell of lavender but anyway um, yeah because in, in my heart I know I don't have to spend loads of money on expensive skincare but these products I think oranges 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 is quite spenny and it is really nice like my skin feels amazing so I'll let you know if it actually works. Right, now I need moisturizer. I've had this for a year, right? This was also gifted, but I will buy this again once it's run out. It's the Ice Sunday Riley Moisturizing Cream, the thickest cream I own. You, re a little goes a long way, like I use this much. And I'm just gonna tap it all over my face. My skin feels so clean. Also, I am loving my earrings. I never really wear dangly earrings. I got them from Levisa. I believe they were 17 pounds. Obviously in Levisa, normally they have cheaper ones, but I went for like their expensive earrings because I thought it went well with this. Look how pretty they are for 17 pounds. Like they're so lovely. 